Welcome to Real Food and today I'm going to cook and review these fish cakes. Um, these are cod fish cakes. They are from Sainsbury's and um, they are from their Taste the Difference range. Um, I actually don't often um, eat fish cakes because they used to have like fairly unpleasant taste in the past. But you know what? I've just noticed that they've, these fish cakes they've really have they've gone quite a long way. And look, they're almost like chicken Kiev. They've got some nice filling inside, and um, they're re reasonable size. Um, they can be, and it's cod. They're made of cod. I think in the past fish cakes were made of. Um, basically leftovers of, of of fish and they were not so nice but now look cod is is really you know good quality fish white fish and they really do look delicious and price wise you know i'm going to tell you this is just three pounds you know it's not too bad i mean they had other fish cakes even cheaper but they didn't look as nice as and pretty as these so for three well the exact price is um cod fish cakes it's 315 so more than three pounds but they look absolutely um, beautiful don't they so i'm going to um and it's relatively guys also I, I want to tell you that it's really easy to prepare them it says um um in um fan assisted oven um, gas mark 180 20 minutes so 20 minutes and you you're good and you've got these beautiful fish cakes so i'm going to put them in into aluminium tray and i'm going to cook them and i'm just going to have some salad on the side just like they show in the picture here so and um you know i've never tried these before but i'm going to try and i'm going to tell you um what they taste like okay so i'm going to un unpack these um fish cakes um, and I'm going to have a look here. Look how nice, uh, how nicely they designed. There's, um, they give you instructions here: 20 minutes, 180 for fan-assisted oven. Um, from frozen, 35 minutes. They're very nicely designed. You open and you get your instructions right here. They also have these instructions on the reverse, but in very very small print. But I like that you've got your instructions and you don't have to to basically turn it over. Um, so that's really really nice okay so now I need to place them into into my aluminium tray so here we are I'm going to put them gently gently okay I think both of them will fit in Okay, guys, while my fish cakes are in the oven, I thought um, mm, uh, of things that I could add and serve them with. And you know what? I thought what a good idea would be to, to maybe use Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding um, usually um, usually served with beef or meat or mm, Sunday roast, something like that. But I thought fish cakes will, will be just fantastic as well. Um, and if you don't know, if you're watching from abroad, Yorkshire pudding is a um, um, wheat flour based um, um, bake I don't know you know how to describe it it's a baked good really you bake it um, in trays similar to this plastic one but in the metallic one you it, it, the mixture consists primarily of uh, wheat flour um, eggs salt it's it's um, it's called pudding but it's not sweet it's it's salty savory and typically it's used um, for gravy you can add sauce um, here or any any other useful um, condiments for your for your main meal but today because um these are fish cakes made um with cod i thought i would add tartar sauce um i could add tartar sauce here maybe sprinkle with lemon juice and this will be a nice addition tartar sauce guys if you're interested in what's what's in it i can tell you it's a mayonnaise based um sauce it's got mayonnaise um, egg yolk vinegar salt mustard gherkins um, onions sunflower oil capers and more vinegar uh, some sugar sea salt parsley and garlic so there's quite a lot of ingredients in there so it's it's quite handy to have them ready made in a jar 
um, unless you want to prepare it yourself. But that's what I'm going to season my fish cakes with. Um, tartar sauce, Yorkshire pudding, and maybe sprinkle with lemon juice. So, so that's how I'm going to serve it. So here's my Yorkshire pudding on a plate, waiting for my two fish cakes here. And I'm going to put some tartar sauce a little later. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you a bit later when uh, when I see how my fish cakes are getting on. I think they're doing really well. I've got another 5-10 minutes to go and, and then we, we will see what they look like. Okay, and in addition to um, to tartar sauce and Yorkshire pudding, I also decided to add some green leaves um, for um, as to to accompany my fish cakes. So and these green leaves are, um, are simply just salad, um, some kind of um, I don't know what it is. Um, these are just leaves, um, green leaves, um, shoots, green shoots. Um, it's it's called a rosa rosa verde. It's a salad washed and ready to eat from another supermarket, from M&S. So I think this should work really well. Okay, so here's um, our fish cake. It looks really nice. It smells good too. And um, let me show you what it looks like inside. It's very soft, guys. It's really, really nice. Oh my God. Look, the filling inside looks gorgeous. Um, and let me try this and I'll tell you what it tastes like. So I've got some tartar sauce here. So I'm going to get some of that. And um, yes, it's really soft. And it's literally melting inside, just like they say on the, on the advert. Mm. It's really, really good, guys. I can definitely recommend it. It's easy to prepare. It doesn't cost much and literally melts in your mouth. Amazing. So, let me wish you bon appetit and we'll chat again soon.